Alrighty, boys and girls. So this week, as you might remember, we had parent conferences, so we didn't really get to do any of our ELD crafts or activities. Therefore, I am filming all four of them, actually three, and you will get to pick which one you would like to do if you want to do just one, or you can do all four of them. And um, the activities are a dolphin, a jellyfish, a shark, and the circle map. So today I'm going to be showing you in this video how to make the shark. If you would like to go ahead and watch the dolphin or the jellyfish video, go ahead and do that and pick one of them. Now you can also do these during asynchronous time during the week. So if you're watching, I'm going to post them prior to Friday. So if you're watching this, you know, any day of this week, you can go ahead and do one every day if you would want to, um, if you would wish to do so. That way, uh, when Friday comes, you have completed all four of them, if that is what you want to do. Alrighty, so let me show you what you will need. You are going to need the craft. It looks like this. It's a blue back paper with um, these wave, water wavy things, and a gray paper, a red paper, and a few white triangles. You will need scissors, glue, and a black marker. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to do is do the cutting. Now this craft only has two pieces to cut, so it's pretty simple and you should be able to do this by yourself. So go ahead and take your scissors, cut those out. Once you have everything cut, make sure you're throwing your trash away. Let's go ahead and put this together. So the first thing we're going to do is glue the gray paper to the blue, dark blue paper. Okay, so take your glue, add glue to the back of it, all over the edges, right? And you need to glue this relatively high on the paper, so higher up on the table, uh, paper I mean, and leave some space on the bottom, okay? Just go ahead and do this. Ready? Now take the red paper and also put some glue behind it. Oops, moves around a little bit. Now you need to align, which means you need to make sure that they are on the same place so they line up. Okay, the red and the gray paper. And then press it in. Oops. There you go. Okay, so we have the head or the nose of the shark as well as the mouth and now we're going to glue all the little teeth so go ahead and add some glue here to the edge that's what i like to do now sharks actually have a lot of teeth so you can put all of these teeth and overlap them if you wish because sharks actually have several rows of teeth one behind the other so that if they ever lose a tooth another one just moves forward so if you want to, you can put all of the teeth I sent you, which are a lot, but again, sharks have a lot of teeth. Okay, so try and get them to go all the way around the mouth of your shark. Sharks have a lot of teeth again, so you can do that. Maybe I'll add a little bit more here. Now the bottom one. Look at that. Super shark, super teethy and dangerous. There you go. Now the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to add two lines and this is the nose of the shark, okay? It's kind of like the shark is sticking out of the water and is coming out to eat something. So the next part is going to be to actually um, put on the waves, okay, just like this. So take your waves, add some glue to the bottom, try and get it on top too. And try to align it to the bottom of the paper. Let's see if I can do that. Like that. They line up and then I'm just pressing down. There you go. And there's your shark. Now you can add with your marker a little fish on the water. Kind of like the shark is eating the fish. The way you do a fish is just 
kind of like a U to the side or a big C that's stretched out. Then you make two lines, connect them like that, do a little triangle on the bottom and the top. I like to do like a lip going on right there. Okay. And then maybe I can do some seaweed. Maybe I'll do some bubbles like that. Alrighty, so there is my shark craft. Again, there is a dolphin craft, the shark craft, a jellyfish, and we also have the circle map. So if you would like to do the other ones, go ahead and watch those videos so that you get an idea of how to put them together.